Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have to make a confession. Um, I'm recording this video before I could read you guys' input, so I asked for your opinion, and then we're gonna kind of just disregard it. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just the way the timing worked out. I was ready to record, and, and I was thinking about it, and then I got to thinking, well, I'm sure some people will want us to do it just, you know, for the laughs and the ha-has. Actually, wait, I needed that. Why did I disconnect it? But our goal is to make a billion dollars, and it's more beneficial if we go over there and rip it up and plant our canola that we're planting on all of the other fields. So that is what we're going to do because it is more beneficial to our overall... Where's seed just sitting right there? I'll have to remember that. But yeah, it's more beneficial to our overall goal. So I'm going to go rip up the two fields extra that we have. This is the one of them right here. Probably our biggest field, actually. And we could do canola. We could do maybe sunflower or something. I don't know. I have no idea what the planting season is. Probably going to do canola. It has sugar beet in here right now. I just don't want to bother. So we're going to go through and rip it up okay also i've been thinking about it we're gonna put narrow tires on this john deere so i avoid destroying crop because you know i don't want to but i don't want to turn crop destruction off i want my tires to be you know have an impact properly so we're just gonna change the tires that's what i'm gonna do we'll uh see how much that ends up costing once we get through this field here of all this sugar beet but hopefully we don't have too many rocks out here in this field i think there are some because we're gonna have to get a rock picker for this and one maybe two of our other fields i'm not exactly sure before we can get out here with our planter but we are going to be getting in the fields with our planter here today oh also it's july 1st it's 2 p.m we've got the time moving at five i have it set between five and ten i just kind of fluctuate it keep time moving a little bit uh we have plenty of time to do this in fact i could bump this up to times ten honestly because we have all this month to be able to get all of this ripped up and next month is when we can plant so we have another couple days yet no hurry i'm gonna go back this way uh clean up the couple i little missed here but you guys get the idea i'm gonna hit a couple down and backs over here then we'll uh move on to the next couple fields we're definitely gonna need to find a rock picker though while we're working i wonder no good sale darn that's a real shame well here we go a few hours of this i'll see you all in just a little bit this is the part where he loses his mind oh my goodness this is really sugar beating my butt bro i keep missing you kidding me the rocks were out here and y'all didn't do nothing about it i bought a rocky field i didn't know i was out here farming ice cream before it becomes a rocky road it, it has to grow in the rocky field hey adrian you have no idea how far my mind went with that oh my god there were so many steps between what i had said and ao adrian that i just didn't verbalize to you but they were all rocky related or rocky road related i should say what went through my mind was okay so if you have a rocky road ice cream grown in a rocky field it goes down the rocky road to get to the rocky store okay at the rocky store does it sit at a rocky sh a rocky shelf right and then and then you know when you buy it and you take it home and you 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 give it to your significant other is that like a gift to a rocky relationship and then i thought rocky relationship ayo adrian yeah that's that's how we got there um not often i like to break down how my mind works because sometimes it can be scary and weird but here we are i'm just gonna shut up and do my job and if you're wondering yes i still have lady marmalade stuck in my head right now as we're farming on repeat it's it's a completely new day i need you to understand it's been days okay and it's still just in my head <laughs> i can't get it out bro oh come on dude stop it don't be like that why why do i gotta miss the one tiny row on the outside every single time good lord so annoying you gotta be kidding me i'm you i'm um, i about said i meow <laughs> Am I a cat? Are you a man or a mouse? I'm a man who's about to lose his daggone mind if he misses one more strip of sugar beet. I'll tell you that much right now. I'm gonna be like Michael Jackson and just sugar beat it, baby. Just eat it. <laughs> the Weird Owl parody. It's really inefficient when I gotta come all the way over here for a few little plants, bro. Bro, did we not just talk about this? There's deer in my field. Hey, when this becomes after a crop I care about, you better not be out there eating it, okay? You can eat the sugar beets, that's fine. Those are for you. Don't have too many or you're gonna get deer diabetes. Okay, you don't need none of that. I scared him. He doesn't want deer diabetes. 
deer even get that at all? Is that a thing? Can you have a diabetic deer? I need someone from the DNR to please enlighten me. Thank you. Hey, I have an idea. Let's play a little game. The next time Lady Marmalade is not playing on repeat in my head, I'll let you know, okay? But until then, just assume that it is. <laughs> oh, man. It's just me crying for help. Somebody please get a new song stuck in my head. I, could, I, I know a very dangerous song that I could play, and it would get stuck in my head, but it would be stuck in my head for weeks, and the problem is it would be annoying to everyone around me because I won't be able to stop singing like a small portion of it. Just constantly. Oh, constantly, dude. If I think about it, I won't stop. So I, we, we got to change the subject. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's begun. Hey, boys. The game's over. Lady Marmalade ain't in there no more. I officially overthrew it with a more dangerous song. Oh, that was a mistake. I've got a record player. It was made in 2014. Oh, no. It really is stuck in my head. No. This is not good news. This is bad news. If I have to suffer, you have to suffer! It's a good song, but it never gets out of my head. Stay a while, stay a while. I've got a record player. It was made in 2014. I miss a spot again. I miss a spot again. I gotta stop listening to music. Hold on. Turn that radio off. Click. Your boy done messed up, A.A. Eh, eh, Ron. Hold on. Wait a minute. I gotta stop doing this, dude. Can I get a small extension on this, please? I just need an extra half a foot. Can I get just a half a foot more, please? <sighs> Come on, dude. Who? Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm about to go ape. Okay. I'm about to go cray cray, son. <sighs> Immediately! Fine! I'm committing to it! Stupid little- Oh! Oh, welcome back! You decided to get- I'll fall in line! Come on! Go ahead! I hate my job. I'm just kidding, but- Good lord! Just- I, It's still- Annoying! I just want to be out of this field. I just want to be gone. I want to go to the other one. This one's upsetting me. I just want to hear about how this lady has a record player. I don't want to go down that- I, it, I just don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, we're going to the other side. I ain't even playing with this side no more. I'm going to go over here. This side of the playground looks like my side of the playground anyways. Boom. Look at me go. Going to miss a piece immediately. That's what I love to see. Consistency. I have 40 hours on this thing? Mama. Wait, I said I wasn't going over there. And I'm a man of my word. Back up. On this episode, Jake messes up. We're probably going to mess up. Tune in next time. <sighs> All right. Watch. Here we go. Redemption arc. It's the next Rocky movie, baby. Here we go. Just starts playing. I've got a record play. Wrong music! <laughs> How many stages of grief are there? Because I think we made it to acceptance. <laughs> Woo! That's better than the end of Sandlot, baby. All right, uh, head on. Wait a minute. That, that might be fighting words. I might have to take that back. Oh, Sandlot's a pretty good movie. All right, it is. It's a good movie. I adore Sandlot. You know how many times people tag me about that AGT guy? The dude who was on America's Got Talent, and he sang the song Tequila, and he just stood up there in his office, slacks all awkward. Yeah, I get tagged in that all the time, being like, yo, Pickle, this you? You ain't funny. Okay, you know, be original. Be original. That's all I got to say. Everybody tags me in that. Find a new one. <laughs> Some people have been pretty, pretty uh, clever, though. I, I will admit, there have been some clever ones. <laughs> I was gonna go down the road to get to the field, but then I remembered we could just go this way. So that's what I'm gonna do. Pretty sure it was. Can I just? I'm just gonna do it. I mean, I know I have a road right back there, but yeah, I see where my destination. I'm just gonna drive to it. I got a John Deere. This suspension can take her, <laughs> right? Hey, wait a minute. Does the neighbor have canola? Neighbor, what do you got? Oh, you got uh, sorghum, probably. Yeah. Okay. Well, you do whatever you want to do, Buckaroo. More rocks. Oh, thank you. This this thing must this thing must knock up rocks. Good to know. Good to know. Or are there just rocks out here? There are rocks out here. Never mind. The rocks were already here. Pre-rocked field. You'd love to see it. I'm not going to make you guys sit through this one. You get the idea. I'm ripping things up. When we're done ripping things up, we're going to get the rocks off. And then when we get our rocks off the field, we're going to plant. And that is when eventually we make our money. Hopefully. As long as the plants live. <laughs> My track record so far, it's, it's, it, they, they tend to live. I think they live. I don't think they've died yet. Ah, uh, no, that's, that's not true. We have definitely let some die. But the far majority live. And I'll leave you with that. I'll be right back. Boo. Sorry, I just wanted to let you know. I finally got that one song out of my head. I got a completely new one in my head. But it's nowhere near appropriate, so I'm not going to sing it to you. She's getting something in some. Yeah, she went down to Dallas. Oh, good lord. If people know what song I'm talking about. Oh, no. Whip. Good news. We got all the fields tilled up, ready to be planted. We're probably going to have to hit them with some herbicide, potentially. We still need to get the rocks off the fields. But 730, so we're just going to park right in the driveway. And 
and let that time go through, and we'll see you all here in the morning. cock a doodle do. I just thought I would get back at these guys and wake them up before they woke me up, you know what I'm saying? But we've got another day, and that means another day to make some dollars. First thing I want to do is get to rolling on that the rock picker, so let's go ahead and find wherever that may be. Here it is, the $52,000 one if we lease it for $2,600. Look at that compared to like this one down here, $1,200. So yeah, a little bit more, but you go from 2.3 meters and a two meter width to a two. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This one holds more? Funny. Funny. The small one holds more, believe it or not. But this one has a 5.5 meter pickup. And that's what I care about. So we're going to go ahead and lease that. We better get snuck on over to the store to pick that up. Now it is going to be time to plant. So we're going to use some of that seed. We might have to check our fertilizer and get more. Probably should have done that when I went to the store. Oh, well. It's fine. And overall, we should be about ready to plant. Once we've planted, we could do a little like herbicide over it just to be careful, just in case, before anything even pops up. Uh, we might do that. I'll think about it. We'll see. There she is, boys, in all her glory. It's going to make rock picking this field a little bit easier. That's good. Since this field is closest and it is one of ours, we're going to get started right here. I'm very, very, very tempted to let the rock picker work on their own and to hire a worker to do it, but I'm not sure if we would have anything to work on in the meantime. We could be planting and prepping the planter and everything like that, but we still have plenty of time, so there's no rush. I have the time to do this myself, so I might as well. But the good news is we're gonna have a really, really nice seed bed ready for the crop once we go through this. Actually, we have one more field we needed to get. Oh, that's right, and I already returned that thing. Y'all, that's my mistake. We might get to keep the potatoes. You guys might get to decide on the potatoes after all. We can still plow them up, but I've already returned the thing because I thought I was done. I forgot that we had the potato field to do. For some reason, I was thinking it was also bad. Aaron, and then I was like, no, oh, wait, that had potatoes in it. Well, uh, I guess we'll figure that one out when the time comes. That's how it works, always. One would think this would also kind of sort of disrupt some of the uh, weeds from potentially growing. But also it loosens up soil, so it could make it even easier for new seeds introduced to grow. So, you know, yin and yang. Okay, so here's the deal. I've went ahead, ripped everything up. We've got all of the rocks picked. And now we're going to move on to planting. I'm going to keep using the John Deere just because it has a little bit more weight on the front. Or, yeah, it's just a little bigger. And we're going to get right on on into our planting. Now, to do so, we need to make sure we have everything we need. Currently, our planter is completely empty, so clearly we got to go fill it up a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is try and steal this bag from up here. Come on. There we go. So now they got that bag completely. It almost filled up my seat all the way. Now we're just going to come over here and remain, fill the remainder of the seat up. I don't think I have any solid. Nope, I've got lime and herbicide. So we got to run down to the store and pick up some solid fertilizer real quick. Quick. Go ahead and do so. Once we've got this planter all ready to be going for planting season, we'll move forward into August and get rolling on planting our canola. Uh, does this take solid? Yeah, okay. Solid fertilizer is what we're going to pick up. I don't know how many we need. We'll just start with the one, move on from there. Down to $35,000 in the bank. But we're moving along, getting our canola planted in fields 47, 50, 51, and 55. That is a lot of canola. I'm looking forward to that. Of course, our other fields 44 through 49 are all grass. Our oil mill is running through our canola pretty good. We got about 1,500 liters so far. And since we had about 20, we'll call it just 20,000 there, just make it a simple number. That means we'll have, call it 10, 11, 12,000 in the canola oil, right? So we're going to get about half according to what that says. It takes two to get one. Okay, that filled it up halfway. I'm going to fill up one more time just because I did not realize that that was all it was going to fill. <laughs> That's much better. Okay, so we've got a completely full and ready planter for our planting season. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. I should also mention we're going to plant 30. I don't I don't want to forget about the one above the road. We have a lot of land now, dude. 30, 50, 51, and 55 all going in canola. Nice. 
course, we do still have $465,000 of a loan. I don't want to pay that off quite yet. I thought about paying some of it off, but uh, all in good time. We want to be making some money first. I want to get my average monthly income up, and then we'll look into paying off our debt. All right. I'm going to park that right there. Planner's good to go. And I'm just going to take care of some chickens and greenhouse stuff here, and I'll see y'all in just the next month. While we speed through the rest of July here, and I move my way over to get some water, I want to start contemplating our next move. Anything for sale? Nah, nothing I really want. I want to start contemplating our next move. So one of the big options that I think we should probably try are sheep. I'm hearing some good things about sheep. I think it could be worth it. I know they're not too much work. You just need to give them their grain and, or not grain, their grass and their water, more or less. But uh, you can get some good product out of sheep. I just don't know, you know, the cost of all. Uh, that's really the question. So I'm thinking once we make our sale, which we primarily sell stuff uh, for the most part in the winter months, then we will have a lot of money to work with uh, to figure that stuff out. But we used all of July 3rd to get water. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to meander my way back home. And first thing in the morning, we'll be able to get right into the field now. So good news for us. And with the sunrise, it's going to be a beautiful day to go get in the fields. Might as well be the first thing we get to doing here. So we're going to hop into the John Deere and get right to work. It's got about, ooh, we should probably fuel it up. Let me go fuel up real quick. Our chickens still have feed. Greenhouse has water now. So everything should be going A-OK -okay on the farm. While we fill up, just to get an idea of the potential price... Let's see what a sheep and clo- $26,000! Oh my my! You crazy or what? $26,000 just to put up that tiny little fence? Brother, I want you to know something. If anyone wants to pay me $26,000 to put up this equivalent amount of fence in real life, I will come do it all day every day, okay? That was a little redonkulous. We'll have to think about it. All right, when we get paid. When we get paid, we'll make those expansions, but yikes. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be like, you know, maybe 8, maybe 10, 12, 26. Okay, okay, sure. I don't know what the deal is, y'all. We've had, what, two cuts off this? It says it's ready to harvest. we got to let it go, I think, another month to get to that stage right there. That's what people tell me. It says that I could harvest it now, but I assume, or what I hear is I get more yield when I wait. So, we're going to wait. Try and we're trying that for the whole year to see what it ends up being. We've had like two cuttings, and I tell you, I want to get at least three. I prefer to get four, um, if at all possible. But we'll see if that is the case. I will compare it next year. We won't wait that month. We'll mow it the second it's ready, and then we'll see uh, if we can get like more cuttings and what the max bales end up being. Hmm? Hmm? That'll be fun. We get to learn a little bit. That's a sign of a good day right there. You know what else is a sign of a good day? Putting canola in the ground, baby. That's what the sign of a good day is. It's gonna make us some money, honey. Here we go. I wonder how much seed and all this is gonna take. We've got quite a bit of land compared to what we've been farming in the past. I mean, previously it was like, oh, yeah, we're, we're good. We won't run out of seed. Don't worry. Hold on. I lifted this up a little soon. Let me fix that. There we go. But now I'm sitting here thinking, I don't know about this, boss man. We might not get enough seed in there. Or we might not have bought enough seed. But... I'm not going to sit here and worry about it. If we need more, we'll just buy more. It is what it is. I don't care. As long as we get crop in the ground and it helps me make some more money, that's what I care about. Now, as you know, we have not really been doing much for contract work. We definitely could. There's some good bailing work and everything like that. But I think I would rather like get the cultivating jobs and all these things I could hire and just go have a worker doing that while I'm working. Thing is, is I don't really own the cultivator yet. I could lease that stuff and then just send a worker out there. Uh, but I have to, you know, keep in mind the cost of the worker, the cost of the lease. Am I going to even make money? It has to be enough, right? I don't know what that threshold is. We're going to have to figure that out over time. But once we figure out like our minimum hate to run a worker on a field, this is what it's going to cost me per acre or whatever. And uh, so I need to make sure that I'm getting blank out of the contract. So if you guys have any idea what it costs, hired worker per acre kind of deal, um, then let me know in the comments down below. But I'm going to continue thinking about our farm's plan and options for making money moving forward like that. While I do, I'm going to knock out these fields. I'll be right back with you. Just an FYI, 
Lady Marmalade is back in my mind. So it's come full circle. <laughs> also, fun fact. Look, I could just keep going because we own this field too. Woo! Plan two fields in one, baby. I just looked down to double check that we are doing canola. I almost had a mini heart attack. I was like, please don't be on something else. <laughs> okay, while I was working, I wanted to figure this up. According to some dude on Reddit, I just first thing on Google, um, it looks like it'll cost $2,700 per real hour, not game hour. So for one real hour, it's $2,700. So if at max it took that dude an hour, which I highly doubt, we'd be at 3,931. Then we take away the 1414 on the least equipment. We'd still be at $2,500 in potential profit. Just cause? Why not, dude? Wait. I mean, that was like worst case scenario kind of sort of, right? I'm kind of tempted. I think it's worth it. I think we should do it. Uh... I think it's a good opportunity to learn if it's really worth it. So let's let's try it. I'm never opposed to trying something if it means I get to learn. So that's what we're going to do. Also, look at this thing. Hold on. Can I do this and somebody plant? I mean, the hours. No, no. For the test, we need to know. I have to hire a worker for the test. I'm sorry. Part of me really wanted it. Well, we'll ride along for a hair of it. But yeah, it's okay. We'll, we'll earn one of these someday, right? Well, how much did this cost? Way too much? More than I make in the last eight years? Probably. Where am I going? 10, was it? 13. Where's 13? 13 is this way, probably. 10, 11. No shot. No shot. No shot. No shot. It was 13. Try again. Field 13. That's all? Wait, I'm not collecting on bail. Oh, 39. Ah, that makes way more sense. Okay. Four, three, five. Where? Hello? Where is you? Found it. Oh, it's that long boy. I know where that is. All right. On the way. So theoretically, worst case scenario, we should make $2,500 for doing practically nothing. Our, our contribution is driving it out there and telling the dude to do the work and then accepting the money at the end. And for doing practically nothing and making $2,500, I will take that. We're probably realistically going to make much more than that. But really, nearly worst case scenario, I'd say, we still should turn a profit. So maybe that's what we're going to do to earn billions. We're just going to earn money off of somebody else's labor. Wait a minute. Hmm. Might be on to something. <laughs> Dudes in the, like, 1600s be like, hmm. <laughs> okay. This is the very large long boy look like a big old dorito chip with a with a ranch to cool ranch dorito chip out here dude so i'm gonna uh, hello go down oh i'm on <laughs> i'm putting the weight to the ground dummy wrong thing you need it there you go that was my fault me being dumb okay so i'm gonna line you up hire a worker and hope we make money Back to what I was doing. Hopefully that person doesn't mess up too. Sometimes, sometimes they can be dumb. Ask me how I know. Well, looks like we're gonna have to mud these canola in here. I mean, we don't have to, but I'm gonna keep planting until the game says I can't plant no more, I guess. I don't think it's gonna stop me, but if it does, it does. We'll see. Paid $110 so far for that person doing the job over there. They've done that much work. They've got quite a bit to go. So let's see, that's 110 there's 220 and then another okay they're gonna probably cost us in a six to eight hundred dollars to do that field what do you think what do you think is my estimate good is it bad we'll find out but i'm kind of interested in just borrowing the equipment <laughs> and having the ai do the job in the background while we're doing our work and making us at passive income just doing a little extra you know sorry I, I saw that show up differently there and i wanted to make sure it was fine usually only does that when fertilizing stops and i don't know i don't know what i don't know what caused the issue back there at all but uh it's fine I'm not too concerned about it. What matters is that we do indeed have canola going in the ground. That's what I like to see. Also, that field is 150000 and it's got canola in it. That's worth buying. That's a good field, man. It's a good field. It's a nice spot. I actually do this, these fields right here. Whenever I start my own, I like to... Uh, good thing the train came through because I wasn't paying attention. I like to start my farm on uh, those pieces of ground a lot of time. Mainly because this piece down here I find to be great value. $78,000 for that little piece is all. <sighs> Give it to me. And then the next piece, one forty-five. You're talking one fifty. dollars That one's pretty expensive. Okay. But if you've ever seen the series where we did some field flipping with my editor Gilbert, then you'll know what I'm talking about with starting over there. Uh, that series was fun. It was a good 
good time. We did heavily partake in field flipping in that, though. A great way to make money in farm sim, honestly. But I wanted to stay away from it in our method here, so. This rain is really downpouring now. I should probably stop planting and realistically, but uh, it's still planting, so I'm gonna still, I'm gonna keep going. I'm not stopping. I don't think I have anything leased, so it's not like it would hurt me, but if it ain't gonna stop me, then I'm not gonna stop. We must have just drove through there or something, dude. I just don't understand what we did. But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna keep rolling here. I'm gonna get all of our fields planted in canola, and next time we'll be getting right back into a little bit more grass harvest, trying to get our third cutting for the year.